Hi guys, it is April from Getting Hugo With It. Um, if I look afraid, it's because I've just woken up from a nap. Barry and I went out today, like all over the place, trying to get like organizational stuff for the nursery, and I I am so exhausted in my third trimester. It's kind of insane. It's actually insane, and like walking from like one even one store to another I was like uh 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 oh my god like what how did that happen so soon I thought that would only happen in my last month of pregnancy I have like three months to go so it's so funny um Barry and I have been talking about maybe having a little trip somewhere like a small trip like staying two nights somewhere or even one um and we had kind of landed on Quebec City, um, and that is a walking, a walking town. And just today, I was like, Barry, we can't go to Quebec City. Like, there is no way in in the world that I could do that. And it's awful because I've always wanted to go. Like, anyway, so we'll have to find another place, or maybe we'll just skip it and just chill at home or something together. Um. All that to say, this is the start for me, and probably for a lot of you guys, but this vlog will go up a little later, um, of The Handmaid's Tale. I'm going to dig in. I've read all of the introduction by Margaret Atwood, which was really interesting, because this is the, um, it's not the movie cover, it's the TV adaptation cover, and so she did a little, um introduction updated introduction about it and where she was when she created it which was Germany she wrote this in Germany um when the Berlin Wall was still up which is fascinating I am so excited to read this um so today's the day June 1st something I should mention for these vlogs um is I'm going to be it's going to be like full of spoilers so if you're not reading The Handmaid's Tale, I don't know what to say about you watching these vlogs because the whole point of these vlogs is to discuss it. I just finished chapter one. <laughs> it's a whole two pages, but it sets the tone so amazingly well. She is trying to go to sleep um, in a gymnasium and there are still all the markings on the floor for basketball and the hoops are still up and she's thinking about the days that you know there would have been dances like probably high school dances in this gymnasium and she's remembering that feeling of all of those things because one thing I love about The Handmaid's Tale is that it it always, it feels like it so could happen, like it's so close to happening. We follow a character that we never find out her name. Um, she's just called Offred. Um, but she remembers the time <clears throat> not so long ago when women had freedom and now that's stripped away from them. And, you know, the way that she talks about reminiscing about basketball and dances in the gymnasium and then the sheer juxtaposition of what that gymnasium is now, which is holding these women and they are being observed and watched over in a creepy way by two ants. They're called ants, but they're really women who are terrifying, who have um, cattle prods <laughs> and they'll like you know hurt anyone who's going out of line it it's like the hope and the you know life is our oyster vibes that you get in, throughout high school which I think all of us get juxtaposed with this new reality which is everything is stripped from us and they are looking to each other and they've learned to read, read lips and they're telling each other their actual real names um yeah their actual real names Alma, Janine, 
Dolores Mora and June. And a lot of people speculate that her name offered is June, but it's not clear. Like it, it never says that in the actual book itself. Um, she's just, just a masterful writer. She just is. I'm already blown away two pages in. Ah, this is going to be good. Hi guys. So June 1st, um, the video that I did, well, was it a week ago? Where I was talking about um, my concerns about women's rights slipping in the U.S. and maybe in Canada. Um, I just got a comment. I just got a comment from someone who said, you whining bitch. And then they went on to say something along the lines of, American and Canadians have like the most like privileged lives in terms of education and healthcare and all of these things and yet you can't stop whining and like my eyes popped out of my head like it really they did for a hot second there because no one has ever been that hateful in the comments like I've gotten hate but that was hateful. Um, yeah. So that just happened. And so I like rem I reported it as spam immediately. Um, so there's that. But yeah, that was that was interesting. But you know what? I would rather I would rather be the most whiniest of all of the bitches in the world. And stand up for other women who are in difficult situations then sit back and be loved by everyone I don't care about that all that much I mean everyone likes to be liked but eh. so um I'm still reading Handmaid's Tale I'm like I'm early it's early it's like 40 pages in or something um so I am going to probably Sign off for tonight. Um, I hope you have a lovely evening. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, signing out. Whiny bitch. Bye. Hi, guys. It is several days later. I'm uh, in my hallway, so it's super echoey. I just realized that now. Sorry. Um, it's June 6th. And I'm still reading The Handmaid's Tale, obviously. I just haven't been vlogging about it because I haven't had time to like consistently sit down and like really just throw myself into it but I think I'm like I don't know 80 pages in now not very far but one of the things that I find like so unsettling about The Handmaid's Tale is Offred not knowing who to trust in terms of women like there are the other handmaids that you know she's constantly worried who she can trust and what she can say and what is that person's intention and then it's there's the women who work at the house and she like has a feeling like maybe one of them might be on her side might not like buy into this craziness of Gilead um <clears throat> and uh and then Serena Joy the woman of the house um, <clears throat> it shows her meeting her and and really not knowing where she's going to stand and like I think the women of the house kind of set the tone for like how this is gonna go for you at this house um, and I it just made me think why it's so important that women um, stand together uh, because this is a very patriarchal society, obviously. It's Gilead. Um, but we also live in a patriarchal society. It's not the same. It's not as extreme. But it's yeah, a little scary sometimes. Um, rape still happens. Anti-abortion stuff still happens. Like, there's so many things. The way you dress is still looked at as, you know with criticism at least and um 
Yeah, I just, uh, that's something I've noticing throughout the book is how terrifying it would be to live in a world where you could not trust the woman beside you. And I'm so happy that I have women in my life that I, I completely trust with, with everything. So just a little, just my thoughts lately. Um, Libby and I are going to go for a little walk. It's a beautiful day outside. Finally. Oh my God. It has been so cold, cold, rainy, dark. What? It's June. Come on now. So we're going to go for a nice little walk in the woods. Uh, maybe I'll bring you along for some of it. Libby doesn't even want to go. Libby doesn't even want to go on a walk. We just got outside. Libby, it's a beautiful sunny day. Hey. Hey, don't you want to just try? Come on. This one had zero interest in walking. Like, none at all. Ugh. Hi, guys. Um, so, it is Friday night now. I'm going to be ending the vlog here and starting another vlog tomorrow. Uh, because it's week two. I've gotten a little bit further ahead. I might be like 90 pages in at this point of The Handmaid's Tale. But um, yeah, just this week has been super busy. We had our first prenatal class last night, which was fun. I knew a lot of the stuff that we were talking about, but it's still good to, you know, refresh and like learn a little bit. Um, so anyway, it's been a little bit busy in my life, so I haven't read tons. But I will be picking it back up tonight. Tonight is Friday night. I have a sparkling water on the go. Um, Barry and I are going to just have like um, cheese and crackers and grapes and just chill out tonight. So I might read a little bit, but nothing crazy. But yeah, I'll be picking up the vlog again tomorrow so but that that's that's it from me for for now i hope that you guys are enjoying the handmaid's tale um are you rereading it or is this your first time reading because honestly it's just as good the second time around it really really is so anyway loving it hope you're doing well and i'll talk with you soon bye